This is Daughter of Christ to the Protected Group. When praying, you must be careful to never raise your head before the Imam does, else you may be turned into a donkey. Now if you say this is a ridiculous statement, then guess who said it? As you put yourself through the hardship of waking up to eat before dawn, ahead of long days of starvation these days, ask yourself this. Wouldn't it be tragic if it was all for nothing, and you discover what you'd been following was all nonsense all along? We'd rather you discover it in this life. So look here at this hadith, narrated Abu Hurairah. The Prophet said, Isn't he who raises his head before the Imam afraid that Allah may transform his head into that of a donkey, or his figure into that of a donkey? This is Sahih al-Bukhari, number 691. So as you force feed yourself before sunrise, even though you're not hungry, having just overfed yourself earlier that same night, ask yourself these questions. Question 1. During the 1400 years since the warning in this hadith, was anyone ever turned into a donkey for this? If not, was it just an empty threat? Question 2. Is raising your head in prayer before the Imam such a big sin to deserve being turned into a donkey? Why not reserve such big punishments for bigger sins, such as marrying a child, for example? Why such a big punishment for such a small thing? Question 3. What was the thought behind such a threatening hadith? Why would someone want to disrespect his followers in such a way? Was he trying to keep them in line? Or did he really think they were stupid enough to believe this? Or was he simply laughing inside, congratulating himself that he can go that far with his statements and still have people believe him? Question 4. Next time you pray behind an imam, will you be thinking about this? Will you be careful not to raise your head before he does? Will you really be worried about being turned into a donkey? If you don't really believe this can happen, then why believe anything else that man said? As you ponder these things, may the Lord Jesus Christ empower you to leave those fairy tales behind and bring you to himself. Amen.